Hello everyone. Welcome back to our regular Friday Instagram shows. Today I am in our brand new cottage stay, which is the farmhouse. So this will go live soon, probably in, in a couple of weeks, and then you can uh, book this. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you can't see, but I'm, over, I'm in the kitchen right now, the living room behind me, and I'm overlooking all vineyard. It's absolutely spectacular. So this is, is a nice treat to be in here today, and big open windows, nice breeze coming through. So I see lots of you joining, which is fantastic. Hi. Okay, so today we do have an exciting lineup. We have lots of really um, great uh, pairings and recipes that we'll post after, some really great wines, and I have some uh, fun news to share with you. So to start, we'll taste uh, three wines today that um, are, are new, one, two are new, and one is just my favorite, and we're gonna celebrate. And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to share some really big news on how we celebrate the 13th of every month. So that, stay tuned for that in a couple minutes. And then we're also, um, we're going to have questions and answers on, on the finish. So a few, uh, many of you actually uh, messaged in and asked lots of questions. So thank you for that. And any of you that are watching right now, if you want to message in, um, you, we, I have helpers here that will um, give me your questions and I can answer them at the end. If I don't get to all your questions, then I can also um, email or we'll post them after on um, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so let's start with our first wine. So because the celebration, I'm gonna share with you some really great news. So I sabered this this afternoon because we celebrate the 13th of every month with some sparkling wine and we have to do something exciting for the 13th of course and um, I decided to open up my favorite which is the Blanc de Noir 100% Gamay and here's the exciting news. So as of 5 o'clock today until 5 o'clock tomorrow all of our sparklings will be 25% off. So you can go right online and buy that or you can go into the retail store, into the wine bar or to the bakery. So it's just, it's a one day flash sale. So stock up on your sparkling. And um, this one, the, the Blanc de Noir, I tell you, it's so special. It's my favorite. I sabered it probably about 20 minutes ago. So you, you'll see that after with fun saver. Great way to start the weekend off. And uh, for this one is, uh, get my glass here. We are going to pour this a little bit first. I like pouring my sparkling into a wine glass because you can actually smell a lot more of its characteristics and all the aromas better than in a flute. Um, plus you can give it a nice swirl just to aerate it more. But uh, fun, fun fact, if you actually swirl your sparkling, you lose some of the bubbles. So don't swirl it too much. But for the purpose of today, because I want to smell and tell you all about all the characteristics, you can go ahead and do that. So this one is um, normally $34.95, um, but it's 25% uh, off. So you can get that right away. And actually, I believe our website is up and running right now if you do want to um, log on and get your sparkling. So this one, I really get fresh red raspberries, maraschino cherry, Hello, sorry. I really get some fresh raspberries and maraschino cherry, a little bit of um, brioche and almond on, on the aroma. And on the palate, oh, it has sour cherry, uh, fresh lemon, lemon skin, has that fresh dough and a little bit of that almond finish. It's so refreshing. It has really soft, mousse-like characteristics. It's just, you know, I could drink this and enjoy this every day. And sparkling is not just for special occasions. It's, you should be doing this every day, especially on hot days like we've been having. You can sit out back and uh, this is, it's so refreshing. Sit in the backyard and enjoy some sparkling. Plus, it's so easy to pair. Um, sparkling goes with so much 
almost everything. When in doubt, the, the sparkling will probably be one of the best pairings because the acidity and the, and the, and the sparkle will just cut through everything um, for you. Um, so um, I just want to talk a little bit about this, this wine. Um, I'm just going to grab the other, um, oh, here's some pairings. Okay, so I'll show you some different pairings. So um, this was from the Witty Vineyard, just a gentle pressing. So that's why it doesn't have any skin contact and any color because the skins give you the color. So it's uh, white juice and 100% um, Gamay. And it's uh, really special to us because we haven't produced a sparkling Gamay yet. And this was the, the first year. So this was something that um, we're really proud of because we are known for producing Gamay. Um, it's been on its leaves for 12 months, so that's why you get that little bit of that brioche and fresh dough uh, characteristic. So, just to give you a little bit of information about the other sparklings that are on um, our flash sale, we have so we have Cuvée Rosé, everyone's favorite. This is the perfect little everyday wine. We have our Blanc de Blanc, which is 100% Chardonnay. The Cuvée Rosé is a blend of um, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Season it with a little bit of Gamay. Then we have our Grand Cuvée, which is 100% Pinot Noir. So this is a nice treat. Um, this one, I uh, you can say it's a special occasion, but you know what? It's really great with um, a cheese, like all Blumy Ryan cheeses and fresh baguette, warm bread, even oysters, really great. And then our other, or we have five sparklings, we have our Premier Cuvée. So this is another really great one that uh, goes with, with those cheese boards. Let's move these out of the way. Okay, so the Blanc de Noir is 26 now, 26, 21, which is really exciting. So celebrate the 13th tomorrow with some sparkling and we'd love to help you either on site at the retail in the wine bar or the bakery. Um, I also like to put this one pairing it when we first tried it we had a country pate that our chef made and we put some sour cherry compote on that it was absolutely just wonderful. We also can um, put it with a little bit of um, uh, bloomy rind cheese and that same compote. I think that we have a little bit of a Wi-Fi. Um, it's slow, slow Wi-Fi, so we're just gonna switch that. So give us one second and we'll be right back. There you go. Hi, that must be much better. Okay, so. Now for this next one, I'm really excited about this, this next wine because this is a, a new wine for us that we've never done before. And uh, Jean-Pierre is really excited about it as well. It is um, an orange wine and uh, it's called Maximum Intervention. So this is, um, this is just um, bottled and it will be released about around July 1st. So this one, um, it's 100% Riesling, and if any of you that are not familiar with orange wines, basically it's fermented on its skins. So that's where the little bit of the color comes from. So kind of a, a red wine style. I have one without a label, so you can actually see it's got, it's got, still has its, it's bottled with its leaves in there, and you can see it's got a little bit of a cloudy um, color and the longer you sit it, the sediment, the leaves will sit in the bottom and then you can just pour it slowly. But this is, um, get it closer here for you, beautiful color. So I'm gonna pour this one. I have been trying this one lately with um, our winemaker and um, it's, I'm so excited about this. I've actually already had a few bottles and uh, purchased some because I'm so excited. And uh, this one, it's really food friendly, but something that, because um, it has so much complexity to it in the aroma and its palate, you don't need to overthink and do a really complex dish. Keep it simple. Um, you, you can do something simple like oysters with a little uh, fresh mignonette or even some blooming rind cheese, um, some ghost cheese with this one. Uh, orange wine really loves um, 
curries and Moroccan flavors. So we actually have a really nice Moroccan dish that I'll tell you about that after. But right on the aroma, it's such an interesting nose. And I know that some of our members have been waiting for this one to come out. So it's uh, give it a couple more weeks and then we'll have it ready for you. But on the aroma, you really smell um, orange essence and some orange oil. I get some white pepper, uh, a white flower, and a little bit of like a wild honey. On the palate, it is so juicy, but dry and really complex. You taste everything that you actually smell, but imagine a tangerine tea. So it has a little bit of tannins and that's from the skin contact. And that little bit of tannins gives a little bit more body and um, almost uh, similar to when you drink an, an IPA, that mouthfeel. And you're actually going to get a little bit of um, um, like an orange compote or um, kind of an, uh, almost like a marmalade flavor with that. And you're gonna get a little bit of a persimmon, a really, really ripe persimmon and uh, lots of wild honey and flour floral note, um, definitely white flowers. It is bone dry, so it's it's very tart and refreshing. So the Maxim Intervention, because it's 100% Riesling, it was hand harvested and it's from the Witty Block, actually. And um, it was um, uh, full clusters, mostly full clusters, a little bit of, of de-stemmed that went in and um, lots of skin contact. Uh, lots of pump over and uh, push over, which means um, you, you want to stir up all the wine and no air contact. And our winemaker says that um, the maximum intervention for him means, meant that there's a lot of daily, de de uh, sorry, a lot of daily decisions and uh, it wasn't good, good natural wines don't really make themselves. So he had a lot of effort and uh, daily uh, um, winemaking techniques going into this. So this is a real treat. I, I, I'm just blown away. I wish that I could share with all of you right now that are on um, IG watching us, but just give us a few more weeks and this will be ready. Um, now pairings for an orange wine, because it does have that nice complexity and that little bit of structure and tannin, I chose to pair it with a Moroccan salad. So in here, you're gonna have a little bit of coriander and some cumin and some uh, cinnamon. I asked um, our chef Josh to put um, apricots in here because I actually smell, now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to mention that, but some dried apricots on the aroma and on the palate. And uh, so there's almond slices, I'll let you see this. Almond slices, um, dried apricot, some orange zest, and the chicken has been um, marinated with the Moroccan spice. And it has a couscous. It has uh, a, a couscous salad in here with some fresh spinach, and then the uh, Moroccan spice was actually made into a vinaigrette as well. Oops, sorry. So this would be a great summer pairing. You can actually take, we'll post this recipe after, but you can actually take the chicken salad and chop it up and um, mix all those ingredients together and make it into a sandwich if you like. Great time of year for picnics, but just as a nice power bowl, it's really good as well. So um, definitely great with the orange wine. And like I said before, um, any kind of, of curries would be really great with this. I was thinking of like a green curry or a red curry. Also, um, just simple oysters or simple cheese. So be excited for this. This is something that is going to be my summer supper out back for sure. So put this aside. We also have um, a few other pairings that uh, our chefs made. So um, he's now, everyone I think probably remembered a little bit of his hummus from the summer. And um, so we're gonna start selling those and you can have that as a picnic idea or just take out for the weekend. So we have um, his roasted tomato hummus with um, fresh feta and we have a roasted garlic, um, everything spice hummus. And then we have a roasted beet hummus as well. Um, so all of these are really great for the summer and um, they will be available in the bakery. Also, some of these will be perfect with the orange wine too. So when that comes available and the sparkling. So another one that I would like to talk to you about is the Reserve Pinot Noir. 
So this one, um, we're just gonna release now, the 2018 Reserve Pinot Noir. And uh, it was uh, harvested in late October. Um, really, really gorgeous, beautiful grapes in 2018. And uh, from the uh, Woody Vineyard, Look at my glass. And uh, um, new and uh, older French oak barrels were used for this. And um, 14 months. And this is a dry style, only three grams of sugar. And um, it's really complex, you know, Pinot Noir in this area in, in Niagara, I just, I, I absolutely love and I've been really impressed what's been being produced lately. And this one, when you smell, you're really going to get, has a really intense nose, lots of black cherries, um, baking spice, a little bit of vanilla. I taste, like, smell a little bit of a smoky note on it. Velvety mouthfeel, really rich tannins. I taste, um cherry pit, uh, a little bit of leather, mushrooms, lots of um, cherry jam. You get a little bit of uh, um, like a stewed um, cooked um, cherry on, on the finish. Um, very complex and it, I'm still, I can still taste it. It's a nice long finish and um, the structure of the tannins is gonna, tells me that it's gonna be a really great wine to pair with some uh, great food. Uh, especially for, for the summer when you want to grill maybe some nice steak or some lamb. Um, this, this will be nice. Um, mushrooms will be really great with this one. If you want to do uh, even duck breast, uh, seared duck breast and put some uh, like a cherry sauce on that or uh, reduction. And um, if you were going to pair this with like a nice steak, you know, having some really nice um, uh, mushroom sauteed and a little bit of um, uh, blue cheese on top would be great with it. I really like goat's cheese with my Pinot Noir um, just because of the acidity and the lactic note in the goat's cheese actually softens any of the tannins in the red wine. So the structure of the tannins will soften and tons more cherries and warm spice will pop out. So try this one when we uh, when you have some, some goat's cheese. And this one is now released. And, and uh, you can purchase this online and in the, the retail wine shop. And it's going to be available for the wine club shipment coming up as well. Um, I was able to uh, go back and try some really great barrel samples and tank samples the other day. And let me tell you, we have some really big reds coming up this year. This is the year if you are planning on trying a wine club to try 13th Street because the shipment's coming up. Uh, absolutely spectacular wines. We have a um, we have some really great Meritage, uh, Reserve Cab Sof, uh, some really great Cab Franc, and we have some Essence wines coming back out this year. So uh, we haven't had Essence Red in a while, but we have an Essence Cab Franc, and I it is so delicious. Um, it was such a pleasure tasting everything and seeing how things are coming. Um, there's some really great wines, uh, whites that are coming. So, uh, really reserve, uh, Pinot Gris, uh, Gewurz and, uh, Riesling. So there's, um, some really great opportunity for some special wines. And of course I have to make all these great recipes to go with it so we can enjoy them at home. So if you do have any questions about, uh, the wine club or recipes, feel free to email me anytime or you can call, but, um, you know, have some fun this summer. You know, let us teach you how to wine and dine yourself in the backyard and and uh, more knowledge about wine and food tasting together is, is fun. You know, it's one of life's pleasures. So uh, I would love to teach you more about wine and food. So another great uh, pairing that I have put together that I just wanted to, um, it's a simple cheese. So these are cheeses that we have in the bakery. So this is a Bloomy Rind um, cheese from Guns Hill. And this is a sheep's gouda, also from uh, Guns Hill. And I took a apricot jam that we sell in the bakery. So I thought this would be a great pairing with the orange wine. But if just the, these two cheeses on its own, if you want to do like a cherry um, jelly or a gamay jelly, it'd be great with the Pinot Noir. So another one fact that I want to teach all of you is that now we are selling these rock bottom decanters. So this one I chilled and in the freezer. So if you put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes and keep it cold, you can use it as, um, it'll keep your white wine or rosé cold in the backyard. So 
I'm going to just pour this. So especially with this wine, um, once you have it laid the way it is, you can pour it kind of slowly in here and then you will keep a little bit of the sediment in the bottom in case it hasn't really separated too much for me, but um, a little bit of, of the leazy notes will stay in the bottom of this. This is the orange wine. And this, it looks so pretty, beautiful color. This is gonna keep this cold now. So I'm gonna put this on the back table. This is perfect just to sit back and not worry about uh, refilling your glass. And if it was me and I was sitting outside, I would have this mini one and I would pour a mini glass of this one um, in this and then I would put this out back. So that's if you're gonna have, this is you know a good, a good glass because I hate having my, my white wine get, get too warm. So chill it and then you can refill after. And then we also have, I brought, I went to the wine bar and rated all the, all the fun stuff that we got in. This one is good for red wine. So you can decant it and this one's not chilled, just at room temperature, but it will actually neutralize the temperature of your wine and keep it at the perfect temperature. So I'll just decant this one. And so this is gonna actually get some air and aerate this wine and bring a lot more of that cherry and warm spice, mushroom notes out, and it's gonna even get better. And plus it's gonna look beautiful on my table. So these are available in the bakery and the uh, wine bar as well. So feel free if you can, um, if you have any questions, we can help you answer those as well. Okay, so we do have some questions that uh, people had messaged in. So I do want to talk, answer all those. So anyone that does have some questions as we go, feel free to, you can message in and then I have some helpers that were write them out for me. Okay, so which, which sparkling would you pair with lobster? So lobster, you can go both ways. So with lobster for me, um, and I lived on the East Coast for a while, so I ate so much lobster and I tried so many different wines as while I was studying to be a sommelier. And uh, it was, it was um, a pleasure to be right on the coast and, and have the rich lobster. So you can either have it with, with um, lemon juice and keep it nice and fresh. And then I would pair the Blanc de Blanc with that, 100% Chardonnay, because it has tons of citrus, lemon, and uh, green apple notes. It's gonna kind of marry with the acidity and be really refreshing. Or you could use this exact same wine if you wanna dip it in lots of butter, and then the acidity and the bubbles is gonna cut through that fat and that richness and bring to life more uh, fruit and more tart green apples in your sparkling but still keep your lobster really rich and creamy. Another one that I would, if you really wanna be decadent, I'd probably go for the Premier Cuvée or the Grand Cuvée um, because they have a lot more time on the leaves. So you get lots more of that bready brioche note and um, it's a little bit more of a richer sparkling and they would marry really well if you're gonna do lobster with lots of butter or even make a lobster bisque and make it really extra creamy. So. Um, enjoy. Now I want to have lobster and sparkling, <laughs> but that, that's a, that's a great question. Um, what is a good pairing with rosé? What is a good food pairing, sorry, with rosé? So rosé for me, I like to have goat's cheese with that. Um, goat's cheese because it has that really nice acidic finish and uh, lactic note. It pairs really well and makes your rosé extra fruity. So um, it's gonna complement any of the fruit flavors, whether it's strawberry or raspberry or watermelon, it's gonna be really nice with that. Um, also, you could put that and um, you could bake goat's cheese in the oven, it has an, app of an appetizer, and then maybe put some uh, fruit compote or even some fresh strawberries or cherries. Um, last uh, IG, we actually roasted off some strawberries and then we put that on a bruschetta with goat's cheese, so that would be nice. Or you can even make a flatbread 
and um, that's a great pairing. Uh, one of my favorite pairings with rosé is uh, Mexican. I, I make a lot of Mexican at home, so you can do any kind of fish tacos, um, a little bit of um, um, heat and spice and chipotle actually marries really well with the rosé. It brings up more of that watermelon strawberry notes and flavors. And if you have a really dry tart rosé, it really cuts through all that spice and really, um, it loves cilantro and pickled onions and all those fresh flavors that you use with um, Mexican. So have some fun. It's a rosé season, so you can just even have it, uh, um, you know, make raw ceviche or um, shrimp in the backyard as well with rosé. Um, what's your favorite wine to pair with salmon? So that wine depends on the sauce. I actually have many members ask me about what is the best wine to pair with the salmon. And I always, in, in, with any protein, I always ask what is your sauce because it comes down to all the flavors that's going with that. So if you were gonna have, let's say, a creamy mustard and tarragon um, cream sauce on, on your salmon, then I would go with a Chardonnay because you're gonna have the creaminess, and I would do an oak Chardonnay, the creaminess is gonna marry with all that fat and the creaminess and the richness of the sauce, but still balance out with the salmon because the salmon's a bit more meaty, um, heavier fish. So you don't wanna do something uh, too light that's gonna kind of taste um, more citrusy or um, lose all its good flavors that that's gonna bring to the, to the uh, plate. Um, and if I was going to have, many people probably marinate their salmon with um, uh, soy sauce and uh, like maple or ginger or um, uh, you know brown sugar, any of those flavors. If it's a, if a, more of a dark sauce, or even mushrooms, like a mushroom sauce on a salmon, or even just grilled in the barbecue. The classic pairing is Pinot Noir. So Pinot Noir or a Gamay will be great pairings with it. But again, it all depends on your sauce. So if you want to keep it light and fresh, a little bit of a simple oil and garlic, I'd go Gamay and Pinot Noir. It's um, great for for the summer, and it's a classic pairing. Plus, you can chill the gamay and it's going to even be even better for the backyard and complement your pairing. You can probably get a lot more of raspberry and uh, black cherry notes come out of your gamay. I have lots of questions here. Um, I'm a new wine club member and new to drinking wine and cooking. Are there recipes which, with each and are they easy to follow for beginners? Um, there are lots of recipes, so every shipment, uh, first, welcome to the wine club, and every shipment is, I actually personally make a recipe to pair with each wine. So first, hard job, I taste the wine and think of all the flavors that's coming out of that, of that wine, and then I create a specific recipe to go with that. Um, I originally started off before becoming a sommelier in the kitchen, and, uh, went to culinary school. So cooking for me is a uh, part of my passion and making it easy to be at home to pair wine and food and make a great recipe is something that I love doing. And you need to have wine with your food or food with your wine. So it's one of life's great pleasures. So there is lots of recipes coming and uh, you can always email me anytime if you have any questions. The um, um, there's always suggestions with them and lots of tasting notes. So it's, it's, um, you'll have lots of fun this summer for sure. Um, will you share these with your sister? Uh, maybe. <laughs> See, my sister's watching. Hi. <laughs> I am a vegetarian. What foods can I pair with red wine? That's a great question. I actually have um, many friends that are vegetarians. So, you know, you can use any kind of um, foods that have tannins to help, because basically when you're preparing uh, red wine, you wanna think of a food that actually has tannins that pairs with it to, to soften each other out. So um, normally you would, let's say, have that big steak with that red wine to soften the tannins. But if you had something like really rich marinated beans, Beans can do that same thing because they have some tannin structure. And tannins, if anyone wasn't aware of, you know when you eat a green banana or oversteep tea and it gives you that kind of mouth feel on, on, on your palate um, that's kind of drying? Those are tannins. 
So you just want a food that has that exact same quality on your palate. So walnuts are great with that, black beans, um, any kind of um, mushrooms, marinate portobello mushrooms and put those on the barbecue. Um, any kind of like mushroom pastas, tomato based dishes is really great with that. Um, eggplant is, is another good vegetable. But have some fun and uh, there's, um, you know, it's all about your sauce too. So you could even have um, some really great, like let's go back to tacos. If it's a Mexican night, you can have a bean taco and then add some of that really nice, rich uh, chipotle aioli to it. So you can have some fun with, with those flavors. But um, if you want some extra um, um, recipes with that, you can, you can also email me. I, um, sorry, can I still receive a summer shipment. I'm a wine club member and drank it all and loved it. Yes, you can reorder your, your wine club shipment. It was a really great, great shipment. This summer, we just released to fill everyone else in. We have uh, two Vin Gris, which is our 100% um, Gamay done in a rosé style. Really fresh and tart, lots of lemon, um, tart cherry. We have one bottle of the best Chardonnay that I think we have produced yet and I think our winemaker will agree that's what he says that it's his best Chardonnay yet I absolutely love it and there's one bottle of that and it's, uh, it's selling really fast so um, hopefully it lasts a bit longer there is a bottle of a single vineyard Gamay um, the Witty uh, Vineyard Gamay and there's two bottles of a back vintage of a uh, Pinot Noir from 2016. So it's a great shipment and um, yes, you can get some um, second uh, case of that and um, you can also um, um, still join if you want the summer shipment. Getting some more questions here, this is great. I'm looking for ideas to plan an event for my team and I'm a small business owner. Do you do these, these um, privately? Yes, actually. We have been offering um, to a lot of our customers, you can actually book me to do a private uh, uh, Zoom tasting or virtual tasting at home or in your office with um, your, your clients or um, your team. I'd love to do that and we have lots of recipes and uh, fun um, packs that we can put together for you. So you can email me directly um, at the winery. And uh, specials for Father's Day. We do actually. I actually brought them from the kitchen from Josh. So I'm going to grab this big plate. Reds. <laughs> Get this closer for you. Look at all those. Very exciting. So we have ribs and it has um, a dry uh, rub on there that he smoked them. And then we have a gamay barbecue sauce on top. So this is a good Father's Day. I'm sure any father would love this. Plus Josh is known for his baked beans. So here is maple um, bacon baked beans. I have so much food here. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it all. Um, his house made slaw. Delicious. And you can order, a, you can even have a side of the Gamay barbecue sauce. And this stuff is, um, it's, it's amazing. You can use this on, um, you know, so many different items if you like barbecue sauce. So this one I recommend uh, getting for sure. And uh, for these items, I would probably pair, um, you know, I would do, First burger blend, uh, red's gonna be great with this. Our gamay is gonna be really good with this. Uh, the Vin Gris will be great if you wanted to order the hummus. I would do the hummus trio if it was me and my family. I would sit in the backyard and uh, sip the nice refreshing Vin Gris on a hot day and enjoy the hummus as a lunch snack. And then I would get into the ribs and I would pair gamay and I'd lightly chill it because it's gonna bring out lots of that warm spice and like jammy black cherry and um, licorice notes and it's going to complement the smoke in the barbecue sauce and the ribs it's going to be a little smoky on the palate of the gamay and the uh, maple and the bacon notes will really come out in the baked beans i actually i love baked beans and i have baked beans at home um, from scratch all the time with gamay so it's i know it's a great pairing so those are these are all available for father's day and uh stay tuned because we're going to have some more um, specials coming up each each week and uh josh has got lots of um new ideas coming oh there's one more he's also made a uh, salad a pasta salad that you could add on for anyone that's a little bit more fresh 
It has uh, red peppers, Calabetta olives, some fresh spinach, and uh, it's a pasta salad with some, um, looks like feta in there, and some shallots, and uh, it is a lemon vinaigrette, a lemon herb vinaigrette. So this would be a really great um, add-on as well. So now that I'm just trying to buy all this food, thanks. Um, are there any more questions that I've missed? I don't think I see any more, but um, if anyone does have any more questions, feel free to email me and then we can make sure we post them afterwards. And anyone that just joined that missed the big announcement, um, we love to celebrate the 13th of every month as 13th Street Winery and we are doing a flash 24 hour sale on all of our sparklings. They are 25% off and you can get them online actually now if you want a little bit early but it goes from five o'clock today to five o'clock tomorrow on Saturday. And you can actually go right directly to the bakery or the winery um, or order online. And for any of you that um, have some questions about the wine club, yes, you can still join the wine club and get the summer shipment. I'd love to have you uh, be a part and uh, learn lots about wine and food. So until uh, next time, I'd like to say thank you to all of you for coming and, uh, well, coming onto your uh, computers and IG and watching us live. And uh, it's been a pleasure to see you and I can't wait to see you again. Cheers.